In this video tutorial, you will learn how to fix the 502 bad gateway error in WordPress. The 502 bad gateway WordPress error is one of those errors you are likely going to see if you use WordPress long enough. This is a server error. It indicates that the server encountered difficulties processing a request coming from your browser. There are a couple of factors that might be responsible for this error like heavy traffic, outdated browsers, or firewall security problems. There are a few methods you can implement right away. For starters, just refresh your page. Poor internet connectivity issues can cause a 502 error. If after reloading the web page repeatedly, you still have this error, the next thing you should do is clear your browser cache. I'm using a Mozilla Firefox as my browser so to clear my browser cache, I will open a new tab and click on this gear icon. Then select the privacy and security option. Scroll down to cookies and the site data section. Click on clear data. Check both these options if they are not checked. Then click on clear. If you're still facing the error after clearing your cache, try running your browser in incognito mode. Running your browser in safe mode will force all extensions and add-ons to be disabled. If this method works, note that an extension or an add-on on your browser is causing the problem. At times, having two plugins that serve the same function can cause server errors. This is very common with caching plugins. In your WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins and click on Installed Plugins. And you can see I have two caching plugins installed on my website. If you two have two plugins that serve the same purpose, then go ahead and deactivate one of them. If this still doesn't work, temporarily disable all your plugins to see if a particular plugin is a problem. If this error is preventing you from accessing your dashboard, you will need to disable plugins manually. We have a video covering how to disable plugins using cPanel. I will link it in the description below. The next steps you can take is check your service DNS settings. If you recently move your website to a new host, this move will change where your DNS service point to. This also happens when your website's IP address is changed. If this is the source of the problem, the simplest thing to do is wait for 24 hours for the DNS changes to resolve on their own. Turn off your CDN. If you run your website on a content delivery network, there's a good chance that the problem might be coming from there. Oftentimes, firewall block off requests from a CDN. As such, temporarily turn off your CDN and see if it will fix the issue. If it does, check your firewall configuration and make necessary corrections. Sometimes just restarting your computer can fix this issue. Or if you have tried all these steps and nothing works, simply reach out to your hosting provider. They can help you locate the exact problem and solve it. This is how you can fix the 502 bad gateway error in WordPress. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.